Consolidation of non wholly owned subsidiaries. Topic four, contingent consideration. Contingent consideration is additional consideration that may be paid to the acquiree if some future event occurs or if a condition is met in the future. This needs to be recorded at fair value at the time of acquisition. So how do you record fair value? Uh, it could be equal to the expected value, that is the likelihood of each outcome times the cost of each outcome, discounted if necessary. For equity, it may be the future issuance of shares. Uh, and if it's a liability, it may be the future payment of cash. Liabilities, any changes in fair value in the future should go through earnings, whereas if there is a change to the, the future value when um, the condition is met, the equity is not remeasured. Contingent consideration is a great way to ensure, kind of like hedge your bets against the risks. So if you are valuing the company at a certain value, um, but perhaps it's heavily uh, owner, owner managed and operated, in order to keep the manager you know, happy and owning and operating as need be, hey, carve off a portion of what you would have paid and have that be contingent consideration, contingent upon you know, maintaining earnings for a couple more years. Have the deal structured such that your interests as the acquiree, uh, from the acquirer, uh, are in line with that of the acquiree. So, in essence, this contingent consideration increases the acquisition costs um, with its fair value, and we need to have an offsetting liability or uh, equity recorded. We have so many disclosures, um, which would um, be in line and similar to the disclosures that you would have seen in a previous class. This is for your information only regarding the um, disclosures that are required and won't be part of uh, examinable material. Although knowing that uh, disclosures are required for contingent consideration is an absolute um, reasonable ask. Let's take a look at a question. Potato Inc. bought 90% of shares of Yamcorp on January 1st, 2020. The terms include a cash payment of $2 million and contingent consideration of $500,000 cash if Yam's 2020 earnings are greater than $800,000. Potato estimates that there is a 40% chance this, consider this condition is met and a 60% chance it is not met. How should the contingent consideration be recorded? Is it A, it is more likely than not the condition will be met, so it should not be recorded. B, liability of 500,000. C, equity of 500,000. D, liability of 200,000. The correct answer is D, a liability of 200,000. The expected value is 500,000 and the likelihood of this happening is 40%. So the expected value is 500 times 40% is equal to 200,000. As it is less than a year away, it need not be discounted. And as it is a cash payment, this would be representative of a liability. Thank you so much. That is it for this chapter. Again, I encourage you to review the tutorial and then proceed to the Connect assignment, and then wrap it up with our LLL Part 1 group assignment. Thank you so much. Have a great day.